J360 Radio. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bites here on J360 Radio, hosted by JM Brady. I am your host, JM Brady. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on, J360 Legion? Welcome back to the Mini Bites here for episode 208. I'm your host, J-Man, of course. And let's just start off with an announcement. It has finally happened. The labor of love for this particular series is over. Yep, I finally moved them. And I made sure that they were all set up for the premium channel. So you got them going over that way soon enough. All 61 episodes. Episode 62 will be along this weekend, I want to say. At least. I want to go ahead and I want to... Let you guys know this, I am not done producing all of those episodes and all those series that are on the J360 label. So, all stories are there to be told, and I'm working on them right now. So, you just have to stay tuned to see how everything envelops. And not to mention, it'll still land on YouTube. Uh, By the way, let's talk about YouTube for a minute. It seems like I don't upload on YouTube, right? Right. Well, let me let you know this, okay? I do, actually. A lot of the shows that you're hearing, including this one right now and the J-Man show, they are syndicated to the YouTube channel. So you'll get to see them if you like being on YouTube and that's your thing. I will allow that. All right. And then, of course, you know, if you don't feel like using the uh, premium stuff and you like going through ads, certain shows will be on YouTube. All right. Like the Power Play, Project Conference, and all that. But for those of you that love all that premium stuff and all that special new things I have coming for you, stay tuned. All right. But yeah, your your YouTube subscription does matter. Just make sure like you're getting a lot of the stuff that I'm posting out there because like YouTube is now on this um deletion kick. They're actually running around deleting people's uh subscribers and stuff. And then not to mention like they're finding ways to limit the reach around here. Now, it also could be because of they're on the censorship kick too. And they want everybody to be squeaky clean and looking good for the brand when a long time ago you didn't have to. So things have changed significantly. I believe in just being who you are and approaching things as you would do. You know, keeping up appearances is one thing. But when you actually know what world you live in and you know exactly who the people you deal with and you have a story that you're not changing for nobody and no compromises whatsoever, you know, chances are you will have a difficult meeting in the minds and you're going to go ahead and do things a little differently. That's how I always approach things like YouTube, Daily Motion, or you know, even Twitch from time to time. You know, there are things I discuss that will never be good for Twitch, which is ironic as it sounds, so maybe I should go to Kick, right? But I don't want to go to Kick. It's just it's just something about Kick is not good for me. You know what I mean? I can kind of sense that it's like you know, everybody here is kind of an asshole, so I don't want to deal with that nonsense. I deal with that on the daily enough, trying to make you guys content and trying to go ahead and build this brand where it needs to be at. And, you know, a lot of the time I look at it like this, I got to keep going, you know? And then not to mention, it won't even be April after 10 o'clock tonight. It will be May. And, you know, I would like to throw a lot on a lot of those in sync memes and stuff like that, but... However, I'm not feeling it this time because I still got a lot more work to do. If anything, moving that series was only part of what I need to do. There's another series that I need to work on increasing the episodes up. Because before Project Conference came into our lives, I did do some interviews on another show. And those interviews need to be moved. Yeah, they do. They got a spot there on Project Conference, so it's going to happen. So I guess you could call them the flashback saga for this run of um, Project Conference episodes. But no worries, no worries. For those of you that are still looking forward to an interview from me, I do have your packet. I will come along and I'll let you know about it. So you will get informed, you will be known, and we will work this out so we can keep that whole thing going too. It's just making sure like everything is synchronized and this new wave and this new structure and order that I put together goes into play ASAP because May is the one of the busiest months for me you know because not only do I have to deal with other events going on out in the public and I also have to deal with other events going on with J360 Productions because June is anniversary, so we celebrate jams throughout the whole 30 days of June and that includes for like a lot of you musicians out there a lot of you 
people out here that just want to jam and have a good time, that's all for you. And trust me, I got stuff ready for y'all. So, y'all, <laughs> it's all lining up, and I love this because... As soon as June hits, then soon enough we will have the Monster Fest. And when the Monster Fest hits, then we got Years In and all this other stuff. It's it's just going to be great. Okay, okay, we got the holiday stuff too. But, you know, I know when that's rolling around because as soon as November hits, shit. That's, that's about it. <laughs> no breaks at all. But I love it, you know. You do this because it's a labor of love, not because it's a burden. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just letting you guys know that I've been working on a lot of show running, a lot of productions, and not to mention, I really want to go ahead and jump back into like filmmaking more. So we just going to go ahead and do what needs to be done for all the maintenance stuff. And I thank you for your patience, by the way. That's really important because like I have a lot to tell. I've got a lot of things that are in the works. So... You know, just stay with me on this. Uh, by the way, a lot of you all that have music videos and stuff, you can submit your music video to J360 Productions via J360Jams at gmail.com. That is a place where you can submit your music videos in addition to your two tracks. I want to let you all know we are firing up Jams TV again, and it is happening in June. Okay? Jamiversary is big for this. I'm letting you all know right now. Yes, the first week of Jamiversary will go to a traditional Jams episode, but the week after it will be a J360 Jams TV episode. So that will be at least episode 8 and 9 appearing during Jamiversary, and as things keep going forward, it may take center stage after 100, we don't know. You're just going to have to stay tuned to watch, right? See, like it's one of those many things where I can get you guys aware of it, but the whole info drop is going to come in May, like later on as we get through it, because May is also a big research and development month for J360 Productions. So lots of new coming. And, you know, like I said, as long as you guys are aware of it and you keep an eye on things, it's going to be well worth the time. Now, also, this week is a Jams week. Jams 90 is this week. And we are really, really reaching up there. Like, a lot of submissions just came through. I, I don't know, but it's like, wow. <laughs> Blows me away that you guys want to be a part of Jam's history, and I'm very excited for it. So those of you that did make it, you will receive an email from me by Thursday, letting you know who made the cut and who didn't. Now, Thursday is also the deadline for Jam's 90. If you do send something later than 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern on Thursday... You will be in the running for episode 91. And I do have that prepared as well. So I'm letting a lot of y'all know. Go ahead and submit. Don't be shy. Be a part of this. Because like I said, man, we are on the we are on that last leg of the race. And I'm just like, ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I've been working on that, guys, and not to mention like what I said about YouTube regarding content ID. I will fight for it as I need to. So, you know, like our content, the way we all work together and stuff like that. YouTube depends on the algorithm, so it doesn't know any damn better. But that's just the battle that I'm going to have to face all the time as I keep making these shows with you guys. And some of the Jams episodes did land in syndication on YouTube. So, you know, it's, it's the same show. It's not bad. It's just... You know, if you really want to get the full experience out of it, I would suggest come to it live or enjoy it on a lot of the radio station outlets, you know, such as podcast outlets. Because, you know, you're sitting back, you're chilling, you're having a good time, and you know, it's one of those things. But whereas, I am going to work out a lot of things regarding J360 Ready on J360 TV. So, you know, just stay tuned to see how we go about things, okay? Uh, speaking of which... Nah, I'm not going to tell you guys that yet. <laughs> yeah. In case you're wondering, I am keeping aware of all this crazy stuff going on with like Warhammer and gaming and all. But I want to let you all know this. Regardless of the controversy, regardless of Sony sticking their mitts into this whole thing and not doing a damn thing about it. Because it's kind of weird that games get developed over in the, the Eastern cultures and they have to go and deal with the Western dialect in order to get approvals. But we can talk about that on the J-Man show. Let me let you know. Stellar Blade 
it's friggin' awesome. If you played Vanquish and Bayonetta back in the day, it's kind of like a sci-fi love child between the two of them. But at the same time, it holds its own because of all the action sequences that take place. Not to mention that, you know, the main character, yeah, pretty cute for a fictional character, don't you think? <laughs> oh, man. I have never thought I would see a lot of grown people in the real world get uptight about a fictionalized character in my life. You know, but then again, I have seen nothing yet. There's going to be a lot more insanity to come from that side of the room. But let me just say this. For an unbiased point of view, it is a damn fine video game. And if you're into playing sci-fi games, and if you're into playing, like, hack and slash types, that game's for you. If you're not into it, well, once again, hey, not everything's for you, right? I mean, you know, some people have aspirations, but when it comes to actual performance and actually doing things you know it's all about choices man see what i'm saying and i just wish people would understand that i wish people were not being forced diversity all the time i wish people would just be good and be excellent to each other you know what i'm saying be excellent to each other it's really not that hard and it's really just understanding that some people can do things you do and then some people cannot and then at the end of the day it's like you know all this stuff about who's authentic and who's fake, it all comes out regardless of what happens. You'll notice this. See what I'm saying? But all in all, though, that's stuff for the J-Man Show. I need to go on ahead and get on out of here so I can go ahead and take care of a few things. And the next few episodes on in, we can go ahead and do a little bit more. See what I'm saying? But until then, this is J-Man signing off. Take care of yourselves. Peace. Peace.